What's going on guys, Static here and today I will be showing you how to get a live subscriber count on your live stream. This works on both OBS and Streamlabs. Today I'm using Streamlabs, uh, I've always used Streamlabs, I feel like it's a much better, smoother uh, program as uh, you can straight away download overlays and themes onto your stream. As you can see I've downloaded my overlay here, this is my webcam overlay and it automatically connects with Stream Label to bring up your subscriber count and your new followers for Twitch and even the chat box here. So what you want to do is go on to livecans.net and I've already got a page open here and it should look something like this. So here we have livecans.net and uh, this is for my channel. As you can see I've got a, a nice cheeky 127 subscribers. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you already haven't if you want to get more videos like this and some gaming videos as I do All right, so since this is my channel you want to do it specific to your channel So what you want to do is change my name to a, another channel name So let's just say KSI just for entertainment purposes because look how many subscribers you guys got so much That's 19 million subscribers now this automatically updates um, every two seconds uh, so it should automatically update on your stream so then what you want to do is uh, let me just specifically get it to mine Next. Uh, what you want to do is then copy the URL go back to your stream label uh, stream labs software uh, this works on OBS as well you want to go to browser source add source let's change this to subscriber oh. add new source now here you want to then paste it in the URL which pops up here and click done. Here we have now got the whole subscriber count on our stream uh, editor. However, it just it's it's a bit too big so we're going to have to crop it down. So how we how do we do that? Now we go right click here and we click filters. At the time of recording this, I realized the subscriber count box actually covered what I was recording. So to get where I am now, you want to right click on whatever your subscriber count title was called. Mine was called subscriber count. Just right click that and click filters and you can carry on with the video. Once filters is clicked, you can then click the plus sign there and then click crop and pad. Once we click filters, we click the plus sign here and then go down to crop and pad as you need to crop it down to the right size. So then when we go to crop, we want to do a bit of number guesswork here. Uh, as we don't uh, we can't like manually do it so we're gonna have to like put a bit of guesswork in so let's see the bottom uh, let's try 200 a bit small maybe make it a bit bigger 277 275 phone number 280 looks nice okay 280 from the right hand side we want to bring it in from the right so let's say about 150 a bit more than that 300 All right 300 looks nice uh, from the other side, from the top, we want to do it about 200, uh, maybe a bit more, let's try it. Oh, a bit too tight, 210, okay. And the other side would be 300 as well. All right, as you can see, this has now been cropped down to three digits. Hopefully, if I do get to four digits, I'm going to um, expand the crop so four numbers can fit in. But for now, I'm going to keep it at three digits as it looks much cleaner. So, now we have it on our stream layout. However, it's still got a background to it, so we need to like remove the background. So we then go onto filters, uh, click the plus again, and go down to color key. I think on, I think on OBS it's going to be different. So on OBS, just go right to the bottom and click it. It should be the exact same. On Streamlabs, it's called color key. So then what you want to do is go to key color type and go to custom color. Now then what you want to do is you want to go to your white in the top left hand corner. And then you should get something that looks similar and exactly the same but then you have to go to similarity and then what you want to do is kind of scroll this up and then once you scroll it up you can see that your logo is gone with a black background and this means that it's going to be clear as it's going to be see-through and you're going to see the actual gameplay behind it and it won't take much of your screen um, so then what you want to do is you want to play around with it try getting the perfect um, perfect outline you want you can go all the way with no outline just barely minimum uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a white outline so people can see might smoothen it up a little so there's not that many edges uh, make it nice and smooth okay I'm gonna keep it like that uh, I've got it at 303191 I might just make it a hot number because my OCD just kicked in so 300 or 190 
and then click OK. And there we go. We've got a live subscriber account and you can see the whole stream behind it as well. And it's not taking too much. I might just crop it down a bit, um, put it in the top left hand corner since my webcam and stuff's there. Keep that there. I might move it around uh, depending on what game I'm playing. Okay, so now that's done. So let's see if it works. So now that I've got my channel open up here, uh, click it to the side, uh, open Streamlabs on this side, bring it in. I don't even bring it in. Okay, there. I guess that's how far I can bring it in. Okay, so now that I've got this on the side, here is my channel, and I'm going to unsubscribe from it. So here is, we are looking in the top left hand corner here, uh, 127. So if you unsubscribe, it should end up working. There we go, it's gone to 126. Uh, but obviously I'm gonna have to subscribe back. Um, so that's 127. So there we have it guys, it's all working correct, uh, correctly. It looks nice on the stream. I'm gonna keep this when I do live stream and hopefully we can get those numbers up. But I hope this helped you guys. Uh, feel free to leave a like if it did, uh, comment on what thoughts you have on it, and subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Statics. Peace out.